Hey YouTube, good morning. Well, I'm back after a little bit of a, uh, taking a break. Um, for those of you that, that don't know, my, my younger sister, Kathy Cook Henry, passed away uh, from fighting cancer for the last year. And, and we had to memorialize her and celebrate her life uh, with our family. And um, thank you for all the well wishes that everyone sent over the last few weeks uh, as I was going through this. But thank you. I really do appreciate it. There was a lot of uh, community support and, and, uh, and blessings and things. I appreciate all of that. Uh, but what I'm here to do today, uh, this is still version 10.69.2.3, and this is actually the first time I've test driven it. Uh, I got a little bit of morning fog here at 7.59, 8 a.m. in the morning. Um, and I tell you what, after meeting all the engineers at Tesla AI Day, I want to say thank you for all of your work. Thank you for coming up and meeting uh, and discussing with me uh, all the work we've been doing together. Uh, but more importantly, I've learned a lot about what you need from me to continue to evolve and work on um, on, on this turn. So I'm going to keep doing it. So here we are. Unprotected left turns in a little bit of fog. Um, let's see how we go here. A little stop, a little creep. This is that morning rush hour that sometimes can get busy. But we got a nice gap to the left. And it should just go all the way through because we're perfectly clear to the right. And look at that. Very nice job. Let's see if it goes in the left lane very smoothly. There we go. One of one. A little bit of low visibility. Now, believe me, this is not low, low visibility, but it does introduce a new environmental variable um, with fog. Um, I can still see well over a thousand meters down below the clouds. Obviously, up a, a few feet, the, the fog gets a little bit thicker. So let's do a few more unprotected left turns um, in this morning rush hour light fog. All right, here we go, round two. Let's see what we get here. A little bit of median path prediction again. Creep limit coming up. Let's see what kind of traffic we have to the left. I got a little bit of light traffic. It needs to wait here. It needs to wait. Okay, that's good. I can see just fine. There's a lot of headlights. There's plenty of visibility. I, you know, the fog really is not a deciding factor on seeing this visibility laterally. But what it is, it's just, it's a different environment, right? Just like rain, just like some other, you know, kind of environmental aspects that changes uh, what the car sees. Um, and of course, here we are, the cars have their headlights on this time of day. Now there's a very tiny gap. If it's aggressive, it could go, it can't go. Okay, I had to disengage there from an unsuccessful commit on a gap there. Um, I'm gonna tap the button there just to kind of go. So. It, to fit in the gap where it tried to fit, it didn't give me the acceleration I needed. Um, so that was unsuccessful. It was a tight gap and it could have gone, but it just couldn't creep out like it did and, and go. We'll see, I don't know. Uh, I, I didn't like it, so I took over, hit the snapshot button. That is another thing I learned at AI Day, talking to the engineers. The snapshot button is, is really helpful to getting a nice, good grouping of videos. And also, the downloading of all of the snapshots need a good Wi-Fi connection. So um, some of the engineers asked me to please leave my sentry mode on at home so that the car would not go to sleep uh, as it started downloading um, the videos and uh, waiting for a complete data set. So that was another great lesson learned, that the snapshot button is utilized. They, they like it. They love those clips. And um, I'll continue to use that more uh, effectively, I hope. Let's try another one. Okay, there's our stop line. Oh, don't go left. Whoa, stop, 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 stop. Okay, it started looking like it was gonna go a little bit to the right and then it kind of recorrected and it got a nice gimme here. Wide open to the left and to the right um, and it found its path just fine. So I, I kind of gave it an easy one there after the last one by accident. Um, but that's fine. But it, I don't know if you noticed at the beginning of that one, it looked like it was gonna go to the right and then it kind of recorrected as the planner gave its uh, you know, mapping to the left. Interesting there. Okay, let's keep going. All right, looks like we're gonna have a train going in front of us on this one. There's the uh, good old CSX railroad right across the way. Don't see any visualization at the moment. We got our creep limit, got our median projected. Okay, it needs to wait, it needs to wait. Okay, good, it saw that. Uh, it kind of creeped all the way. I got a little bit of room. I got a car squeezing to my right. Tiny gap here, it needs to wait. Okay, it stuck itself out pretty far now it cannot okay if it goes it needs to go okay it did it committed just fine there let's see if it uses the median nice median and it could go but if it goes it needs to commit 
Give me the boost. Give me the boost. Hey, that was a decent boost. I like that. That was a pretty good one. That was a little bit advanced. A couple times it, it, it took an aggressive creep, but it stopped. It actually squeezed itself in a small gap that time that, that it gave me the right commit and I let it go. Um, it was a small window. You see this car just passed me here. So that was a little bit of that um, jumping into traffic acceleration, getting right up to the speed limit I'm talking about. So um, that, I'm gonna give that one a, a, a good thumbs up. I don't know what the corrective steering, okay, I, so I've got the corrective steering just on my lane management turned on. I, that was a good one. Um, I was a little unsure because of the commit it gave me on the previous turn, but I think that the fact it gave me the boost it did, jumped into the median, it paused, it waited, and then it jumped into traffic. The only criticism I would have would be the acceleration into the traffic was lower than I would have done as a human. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, let's do another one here. See what traffic we get right here. Median didn't pop up quite as soon that time, but there it is again, creeping forward. Got a little bit of a checking for visibility. Okay, it needs to stop. There's a lot of traffic here and a very tiny gap that I have a hunch it's gonna go for. It needs to stop now. Okay, gosh, I'm glad it did. It, it, now it's got the perfect gap and there it is. And we have traffic approaching from the right, so it needs to use the median. Is it getting the median all the way? I feel like my, okay, it's creeping all the way. My butt's sticking out just a little bit. Now the lane is open after one more car and it should go right here. And a little bit of a boost. See what I mean? It needs a little bit more there. There was no traffic right behind me. So obviously if it's doing situational based acceleration, that acceleration to the speed limit was a little slower than I think we need. So maybe a little bit more work on that, but um, it did use the median just fine that time, which is great to see. That was good. Let's try another one. Okay, the fog's thickening up a little bit, so I have a feeling up at the elevation of the, uh, the drone view, we're probably not able to see quite as well as we can down here on the ground. Wide open from the left and wide open from the right. So it should just go without even hesitating there. Yeah, okay, so we're getting some nice gimmies here. I think the rush hour is ending uh, a bit, so we're not quite getting all of the, the tough traffic scenarios to really check the visibility. But I love demonstrating the maneuver works in low traffic scenarios. Uh, it's great. So I think the only kind of downside I've seen this morning was a couple of the fast moving traffic situations. It, it's jumping out into traffic occasionally with not enough commit. So maybe a visibility issue or, or maybe just a, a tight decision-making situation on that one. But uh, the easy ones, it's been doing just fine. Let's try again. Okay, here we go again. See what we got on this one. All right. Got a good slug of traffic coming. It needs to wait for it. Okay, there's a, there's a good size gap. All the way, should just go right now. Go. Oh, come on, you're gonna look, okay. You almost waited too long, but it was fine. It worked out just fine. And it didn't pause in the median, that was great. Um, that was no problems there. I saw the gap before the car did. Maybe a little bit of a distance thing, I don't know. It was very obvious to me I could have gone. It hesitated just a bit. It's almost like it was double checking. And then uh, it committed in a, in a acceleration that was just fine for the remaining distance so good decision there a little bit of a difference from a human but maybe that doesn't matter let's try another one all right here we go again see a little bit of uh, path prediction there that's okay stop 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 Ooh. Little bit different creep speed there and look at that I don't have a creep wall that's why it acted differently where's my creep limit Nope, it can't go. Gosh, it's making me nervous going out here without a creep limit. Here's it. Now this guy's turning. Now it can go, it can go. It needs to go into the median now. Slight weight here in the median and if it proceeds right now, it's perfect. Okay, that behaved okay, but wow, it was so interesting how uncomfortable I was once that creep limit disappeared. Uh, that just kind of goes to show how much I'm using that as a safety driver to know what the car is, is expecting or thinking it can do. And without that le limit there, I almost felt like it, it could creep 
as much as it wanted. Uh, it didn't, it stopped, um, but it was definitely more uncomfortable for me. So I guess that's a good use case of how that creep limit is assisting the safety drivers right now. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it quits there. Uh, I think we got some decent use cases, not a whole lot of hard ones. The car did pretty good today. A little bit of has uh, jumping out into some of the tight gaps. The only time I, it made me nervous was when the gap was too small and it didn't use the acceleration I felt was required. Um, one situation where the creep limit wall didn't show up and it kind of made me a little bit nervous, but it ended up doing just fine. Um, any gate, just one more thanks um, for the invite to AI Day, for meeting all the great team members there at Tesla in Palo Alto. It was a great evening. Thank you for that time and the conversation. I really, uh, really do appreciate you guys. And I hope to keep doing um, what what apparently is helping you guys with a little bit of troubleshooting and diagnosis. Um, let's keep working on it. Really looking forward to it. This is 10.69.2.3. Uh, Have a great day, everybody.